Brownsburg High School is out for the summer, but rising sophomore Aiden Susek is not taking a break from making sure he is called by the right name in class. You're going to be famous, Henry. Aiden Susek is spending his first weeks of summer playing with puppies and hanging out with his friends. School will be more comfortable environment. But he's already thinking about how it'll be when he goes back to school. I don't want Klug to be restored to that position. Former orchestra teacher John Klug speaking with RTV6's Stephanie Wade Tuesday. I feel the compelled speech of forcing a teacher to take a side on this very um, highly controversial topic is a violation of our First Amendment rights. He refused to follow a school policy requiring teachers to call transgender students by the name they prefer, not the one they're given at birth. And it just feels incorrect. To get around the policy, Susek says his teacher used last names for all students. He started calling all of us by our last names. Like It was one of those things where he was technically treating all of his students the same. But everybody was aware of why he was doing it. We all knew that it was because of the three trans students. Aside from feeling disrespected, Susek says Klug's actions are actually harmful. He said that he doesn't want to condone students going down a path where like 20% of trans people try to kill themselves. And I don't think that he recognizes that people like him and doing things like this are the reason that 20% of trans people try to kill themselves. The 15 year old has the support of his friends and his family. Anytime you have bullying behavior, you have to push back against the bullies. Otherwise, other people think it's okay to do the same thing. This in hopes of keeping public schools safe for all students. I know he thinks he's doing the right thing but he's not listening to the actual people that this affects. Kluke says he's hoping his termination will be reconsidered. Aiden's family is planning to weigh in on the matter at Monday's school board meeting, speaking in support of the administration and its policies. Reporting in Brownsburg, Matthew McClellan, RTV6. You work for us. We are the ones that put you in those chairs. All new at 11, strong reactions after the Brownsburg School Board approves the resignation of a teacher who says he was forced out of his job over his religious beliefs. Good evening to you at 11. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amanda Starantino. We've been bringing you the latest developments on this issue since last week. After orchestra teacher John Klug refused to call transgender students by their preferred names, breaking school policy. He says he resigned under an ultimatum, but now wants his job back. RTV6's Matthew McClellan reports from Brownsburg, where hundreds of people crowded the board meeting. The board's decision tonight setting off a strong reaction on both sides of the matter, igniting debate over religious freedom, freedom of speech, and civil rights. Those words sealing the fate of former orchestra teacher John Klug in attendance Monday night to plead his case. I've requested to appeal to the board. That request has been denied. Joined by his attorneys and his wife, he's still asking to be reinstated. Never pulled students aside and counseled them about their lifestyle choices. This all is about my ability to use last name only indiscriminately with all my students. A different story from the ones told by former students identifying as transgender. He would use she, her pronouns and call me Miss Willis and after um, reports to administration resulted to calling me Willis with no pronouns at all. Klug citing his own religious beliefs for his classroom decisions. Mr. Klug addressed all students by their last names but every single LGBT and especially transgender student knew exactly why he was doing that. Supporters say Brownsburg's policy protects transgender students from discrimination and violence. Opponents calling it a violation of religious freedom. His personal opinions have absolutely no place in a public high school. For Aiden Susek and students like him, they say school policy can mean the difference between life and death. Without the support, I would know I know many individuals, including myself, would not be in this world. For Klug, what it means is likely a job somewhere else. He declined to answer when asked what he plans to do next. Reporting in Brownsburg, Matthew McClellan, RTV6. Um, uh, we believe there's a constructed discharge here, that they unreasonably threw out an accommodation that was in place. They actually had a written agreement with John to allow John to actually express his convictions by using only last names of all the students. That reasonable accommodation was tossed out by the administration after the school year, and he was told he either resigns, he follows the line of the school, 
using these transgender names that were not, as he said, the birth names, or he will be suspended and then terminated. Those were the choices. That's a Hobson's choice. So from the standpoint of our legal position, we believe we have a, an illegal discharge. That's number one. But number two, the issue, the constitutional issue is, can the government compel him to violate his religious beliefs? There is sufficient federal law that says that they must make a reasonable accommodation if he has religious beliefs. And those cases are really well established around the country. We believe this is a new one, though, because this deals with an insidious effort by a governmental entity, if you will, a school yeah. paid by taxpayer funds. So we see this as a different wrinkle than we've seen before in the cases coming up. Well, the, I think the studies on transgenderism are very difficult. First of all, there's no real long, you know, peer-reviewed study that we can look at with, like, whether hormone blockers. We don't need to get into that, because that's not really relevant here. But all I'll say is that there has been a really explosive growth in, in kids calling themselves transgender. And just in this, this British study, they went from, I think it's uh, 94 referrals as gender dysphoria is a technical term, from 2009 to 2010, 94 at this clinic, to now between 2016 and 2017, 1,986 mm -hmm. referrals, including some of those for children younger than six years of age. Now, a lot of people are believing, uh, thinking that this could be gender affirming treatments or actually encourage kids who call themselves transgender. Most of them grow out of it. Uh, that's just the way it is. Most of them grow out of it. But also other studies, adolescent uh, health uh, journals saying that they are two to three times more likely to suffer from depression, uh, suicide, other uh, right. mental disorders. Very difficult. Right. So, John, do you...